Well, welcome back. Thanks, Maggie. We uh, have Casey Schreiner here in the studio. He's running for City of Great Falls Mayor. Thanks for being here, Casey. We want to get right into it. And a hot Let's button issue it. here uh, in the city is that public safety levy. Yep. I mean, there has uh, been a, 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 an outreach to, to taxpayers to, mm -hmm. to vote for this levy. And we want to know where you stand and where our city's at in the need of fire, police, and uh, bolstering the, the court system. Well, I, I've been pretty open and honest that I am all in on the public safety levy. I mean, look, when I was a kid growing up in this community on the north side, when I was in fourth or fifth grade, I would walk from my house on 20th and 7th Avenue North over to what's now Centene Stadium. We used to call it you know, Dodger Stadium uh, with, with my friend that lived by the park by ourselves and watch the games. There's not a chance right now that I would let my, my kids do that. We got to get back. And I'm not saying we'll ever get back to that place. But the fact of the matter is, is we need more police officers. We need more firefighters for a safe community. And I don't know how you put a price on the safety, but frankly, if we want our kids to thrive in this community moving forward, they should be safe to walk to school. And as the last six months of our lives has shown us, that's not true in every neighborhood. We have to get to a place where we have, it's the safety for families to make those decisions. Well, I think there's a give and a take to that because mm -hmm. one, you're, 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 you're bolstering program, social services here, I guess maybe not social services, but first responder services, that, that is definitely a priority of yours. But then you're asking taxpayers to, to raise their, their, their taxes or to pay more in taxes. I mean, we just had the property tax assessments come out. We just passed the library mill That's levy. Um, people's dollars are stretched thin. I mean, how, how do you Where's the, where, where's the cutoff on how much we're asking the taxpayer to pay out of their own pocket with this? That's a great question. I mean, my I fundamentally believe the number one responsibility of public or of uh, municipal government is public safety. Number one, first and foremost. So at the end of the day, those have to be paid for somehow. And if we don't pay today, we're going to pay tomorrow. And that's not just in dollars. They're going to have more kids getting addicted to fentanyl. You're going to end up with deaths on our hands. If we don't have folks in, in the homeless community with, with mental health supports and being taken care of in a appropriate way. We're going to have more folks die during winter because they don't have a home, uh, roof over their head. I, I mean, I understand that taxpayers, my family alone, we live pay, we, we have lived paycheck to paycheck. That's something that I fully understand. But the fact of the matter is, if we don't do it today, we're going to pay for it. And the reason we're in this boat where we have to pay so much now is because we have, we have not been responsible as far as putting these forward in a more timely manner so they're littler increases more incrementally which frankly is how you should fund government you shouldn't wait 50 years to, to put something on the ballot that then is an immediate lottery pick for 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 public safety and you, you touched on something. You've touched on homelessness a little bit. We'll get to that in a second. But um, one thing about this this public safety levy is Great Falls is growing. I mean, we're growing a population. Malmstrom has development going. We have some new businesses that are coming into the area. I mean, in, in what way, as we as we continue to grow in this city, do we provide affordable housing for our employees and and quite frankly, people who've been here their entire lives um, who have a trouble have trouble finding that affordable housing? Yeah, frankly, I, I think we're in a we're in a real real crisis when it comes to housing, both on and I think it's important to sort of, they're, they're connected, but separate the conversation. We have folks right now coming to our community with like the Turo development that are struggling to find a place to live. Folks that are coming in with really high paying, good paying jobs that have a whole professional background behind them, they can't find places to live because the market's so tight. I think that we need to invest with our state government. I mean, the legislature did some movement. We, need, we have, when it comes to zoning and how we actually can infill in our community. Frankly, if we let pri private property owners actually help solve this problem with I, I think that helps as far as getting people in a place to live now on the homeless side of things we have a great opportunity and there's a lot of work that's gone into that we have this this organization called the continuum of care which is the combination of a bunch of nonprofits in our community that come together and they literally staff by name the folks in downtown Great Falls I don't think most of the community understands or knows that that happens um, I think the, the role of the mayor uh, is to help facilitate and be a leader in that conversation because frankly whether you're sleeping in a house with a warm, you know, warm house or sleeping on the street, you're still a citizen of this community. And as I said in the beginning, I think public safety is the first and foremost responsibility. And that includes folks that don't have a roof over their head. So I do think that the role of the mayor is to engage with our state delegation, our federal delegation to actually help with this. Look, you're not the city manager, you're not the chief of the police, or you're not the chief of a fire and rescue. That is not the role of the mayor in our community. We have a manager, we have a, a chief of police, and we have a um, chief of the fire. Your role, though, is to be a voice for your constituency and to be a voice for our community at the state and federal level. And that's something that I think that I would excel at. 
Kind of lastly here, last question I have for you is, you know, with, with that growth in our community, um, you know, we have businesses here and we, we want to continue to grow our, our, our small businesses and then those others that come into this community. And what way is Mayor can you help promote economic uh, diversity and growth? Well, I've spent over, a, I mean, at least a decade working on this issue, both at the state legislative level and locally as a member of the board for the Great Falls Development Alliance. Um, I do think the mayor can be a voice in making sure going out and helping recruit businesses, meeting with new spouses of new professionals coming to this community to make sure that they also have have um, a job or they feel safe and they feel happy and they understand what opportunities are for them when they come here. I think there's a real opportunity for the mayor to be at the forefront of these developments and take a leadership role. And lastly here, as we wrap things up, Casey, thanks for being here, but why, why should these voters at home pick you and choose you as their, their next uh, City of Great Falls mayor? Uh, great question. I mean, look, I, th I think that when we elect a mayor or really any public official, we should elect people who know what it's like to live like the rest of us. They understand what it's like to have to go at 8 o'clock in the morning, figure out how to get their kid to school and then get to work on time, have to ask for time off to go to their kid's recital, understand that when their kids leave this leave home every morning to go to school, worrying if they're going to make it to school on time, and then understanding every time a news story comes out that uh, a local constituent's been shot or a family has gone through a tragedy, that we as a community come together and we take care of them. Currently, I don't think there's a single person on our city commission who understands what it's like to have to get your kids to school in the morning. I think our, our commission and our mayor should be representative of the community as a whole, and I think that's something that I bring to the table that no other candidate does. Well, thank you, Casey. Now, like we've been saying, ballots are set to go out in the next couple of weeks. Um, in the middle of October, we don't have a set date from the Cascade County Elections Office yet, but you can expect um, those ballots to be ready for the November 7th election. This is Casey Schreiner. He's running for City of Great Falls Mayor. Thanks for being here. And Maggie's going to give you a full check of that forecast when we come back.